Hey everyone, I know it's been a while, but hey, I survived the plague. That is why I wanted to come on and I did it naturally. So by the grace and strength of the Lord, I must say. So I wanted to come on and share what happened, how did, how did it go, all those things with you all. And hear from you, please put in the comments if you survived this plague, this illness that has been going around, and how'd you do it? How did you overcome it? Did you do it naturally or what'd you use to get through it? Okay, and I'm sure you're wondering how did such a health conscious person, natural health conscious person, who leans raw vegan, you know, uh, get this plague that's going around? Well, okay, so here it is. When I was, I was 46 when I got it, that was this past summer. It lasted two weeks. The first two days were the worst of it all. So what happened? First of all, the fear factor. A lot of ministers of the gospel are saying that uh, fear really opens the door to this illness. And I think that's true. I was starting to get a little fearful about some financial issues that have been going on and um, just kind of like the shedding situation, which I'll talk more about later. I was starting to get nervous about all of that and I think fear opened the door. So there's the spiritual factor. Um, then I had also been around several vaccinated people five days in a row, spending significant time with them in their environments and around them. And then I came down with fever, chills, headache, and nausea that, that first night. Oops. <laughs> so many of the doctors I have followed call this vaccine shedding of the spike protein. So I believe I also had some party food. I had eaten out a couple of times that weekend, so not my very best diet that weekend. I also learned that my zinc and copper and D3 um, intake could have been much higher than they were to keep the immune system boosted. I was taking those things, but I believe not enough of those things. So here are the symptoms I experienced and what I did. The first two days were the very worst. I had a horrible headache, nausea, chills, and fever-like symptoms. I sat almost one full day with ice on my head, <laughs> rotating it from the different areas because the head hurt so bad. I asked the Lord what to do. I asked for a prayer from my friends, family, and my church family. The Holy Spirit told me to do apple cider vinegar foot baths. And although I was feeling really so sick, I didn't really have strength and energy or want to do that, I did it. And it really took the edge off of uh, the awfulness <laughs> of it all. Um, I remember that we were taught in massage school that these baths help reduce lactic acid buildup. And I didn't know how that related to the plague, but it worked. <laughs> um, I also did clay detox. I put some clay... Um, it's like volcanic ash, very natural, healthy, organic ash, um, volcanic ash on my feet after the apple cider vinegar foot baths. And I let the clay detox from my feet probably for 10 or 20 minutes in addition to that. So I also did oils. I put on essential oils. I diffuse them. I breathe them in. I have a little spray I've made of peppermint. Thieves, lavender, and lemon, and we used to call it the sinus bomb. And I believe I was putting, um, I was putting that on my chest. I was breathing like this for like a minute with those on my hands. And I heard other people used peppermint to help get over this as well. So a really good quality peppermint. My favorite's Young Living, and my details are below on that. So I had lost my appetite, but I knew I at least needed fluids. I didn't even feel like really drinking anything, but I did. I stayed on smoothies throughout the whole time, two weeks. I lost a ton of weight during that time, but eventually my appetite came back and then some, <laughs> but that was after those two weeks. Within the first couple days, I started chatting with a natural doctor friend and a couple other natural health-minded friends that were keeping in touch with medical professionals. And the natural doctor told me to make my own quinine. 
with lemons and grapefruits. That is the natural version of the hydroxychloroquine, um, which is synthetic, the doctor told me, and also ivermectin is also uh, synthetic. So I made the quinine version and I faithfully took it about every two hours. I have the recipe if anyone needs it. While awake during the two weeks, it tasted so gross, but I did it. <laughs> Yes, even though I couldn't really taste anything, I could still tell this tasted gross. Um, I did lose my sense of taste and smell. So they also all told me to take an aspirin a day to keep blood clots away. I reluctantly did that, but the more I learned about how it is actually a blood disorder and a clotting disease, I am so glad I did that. Uh, strength. I had almost no strength during the two weeks. I lived on the couch and the bed, the couch and the bed. That was my life <laughs> for the, um, the two weeks. Spiritually, the first week was dark, but then the Lord reminded me to praise him anyway in the middle of it all. And so I just chose to praise him before my breakthrough. You know, I choose to praise you in advance before my healing. And so the second week in faith, I started um, having a mindset shift and my attitude improved. And of course you feel better, you know, once that happens too. So I told my husband, do not take me to the hospital. I do not trust what's going on there. I've seen way too many people um, die or other things. So just get really, really bad. And he didn't, so thank you, hubby. After two weeks, the worst of it was over and I started regaining my strength back. I couldn't push myself much. I wore out easily and had to just slowly do more and more. I did actually continue my online work through the whole time. Wow, praise the Lord. I don't even know how he helped me do that. <clears throat> um, that was by his grace, his strength. But of course, I could not do massages during that time. It was just my online website work that I could do. Um, one bummer that happened after it all was lots of hair fall. If you look at my pictures and my videos prior, you'll see my hair has changed significantly and I just had a lot of hair fall since being sick. Just clumps of hair were coming out daily. Um, I think it's getting a little less now. And at first I was really worried, but I'm believing now that the unhealthy hair that was tied to that time is falling out and new healthy hair will regrow. My natural doctor friend said to increase my biotin, which is a part of a B vitamin, um, which I was already taking Super B with Young Living, but I don't think I was taking enough. And I increased my bi biotin now, collagen, and a few other things. I've been working on those. Um, so that was one bummer. Yes, I did hear several people say that when they got this illness, uh, afterwards they had hair fall, hair loss, um, but it eventually stopped and it eventually like, you know, got back to normal. So I have, since all of this, I have increased my zinc, I've increased my copper uh, to regain my taste and smell. That was uh, what was I, I was advised to do that worked for other people. So I did increase zinc and increase copper and my sense of taste and smell have returned. I believe fully now, I think I can smell everything again. It did take a few months to get it back fully. It was kind of funny because, you know, there were certain things I was like, oh, I can now taste vinegar, I can now taste mustard, you know, <laughs> as things were slowly coming back um, over the time. I also weaned off of the aspirin after a couple of months post-plague. I started feeling some of the side effects that are possible with aspirin, like shock-like effects. I would feel these shocks going through my body and that was not cool, I was concerned. So I really wanted to get off that as quick as possible. I did wean off slowly though, just to be safe. Many now are saying that pine essential oil is helping to hold the spike protein or vax shedding at bay, pine essential oil. So diffusing it, spraying it around you, um, putting it on your feet if you're okay with that, uh, drinking pine needle tea I've also been seeing. And I have not tried these yet, but I have ordered. And they say get a really good quality pine essential oil because there are issues with adulterated chemicals in pine oil. So I recommend Young Living. My links will be below on that. 
So the only other thing I really wanted to mention is something I observed. I observed some things about people that were going into the hospital and I learned some things as well. I follow some Christian doctors and um, here is what I learned. Friends who went to the hospital and received remdesivir and the vent versus a friend who went to the hospital and said no to those treatments and said they just want oxygen and maybe a steroid, uh, I heard, they recovered. They brought their own, you know, ivermectin. They brought their own essential oils. They were able to diffuse it in the hospital. They were taking their own supplements and vitamins and they insisted upon these things and changed hospitals if the hospital had any sort of inkling or issue about it they switched hospitals and got referrals from friends who knew the better hospitals so one friend had this exact story the first hospital they went to they said no to remdesivir they said no to the vent they just wanted the oxygen maybe a steroid and they had their own natural stuff that they wanted to use as well um, because they knew people that had recovered naturally with these things, but they needed the oxygen. Overnight, they caught the nurse trying to put the remdesivir in them, and uh, they confiscated, the hospital confiscated their natural stuff. So they said, oh no. So they got out of that hospital, they got a referral for a different hospital that they heard good things about, where they could do their natural things as, as well than that they wanted to do with no remdesivir and no vent. And this new hospital honored their wishes, okay? And they recovered. They have almost fully, fully recovered from this. They did in a several days or a week or so, they got out of that second hospital on just oxygen, but very low. The oxygen kept lowering while they were doing their natural treatments, natural things. And they got to leave that second hospital, go home with the oxygen bag and attached and everything. But they've been recovering then fully at home. And they, from everything I follow and see, they're almost, you know, almost 100% back up. So, you know, strength probably has to continue to return now. So that is what I have observed that I wanted to share. Makes a big difference, doesn't it? So you really have to self-advocate you really have to say no to the treatments you know people are not doing well on. You just have to say no. Um, you know, do your research. I'm going to, if you give me your email, um, I'm going, I'm putting together a little list of Christian doctors and what they're saying and what they're saying about these uh, remdesivir treatments and all these types of things. I'm just going to have a big email about that. So give me your email. Um, or yeah and then I will email you uh, that list of links and info so I also have several friends that use natural things and stayed at home the entire time just like me they recovered just fine from the plague the illness um, these friends are ages child even all the way through the 80s I have one friend that was in the 80s that made it through it just fine naturally I would say the common denominator of all these friends is that they are very health conscious. They do regular, regularly, they use natural things. They eat very healthy. They're on the healthy side of all, th all these things. They use their supplements. They keep their immune system up and as healthy as possible. Um, a lot of them use essential oils, uh, diffuse all these types of things regularly. Okay, so if you have any questions, comment below. Let me know if you recovered from this plague naturally. How'd you do it? Um, share in the comments I would love to hear and uh, just send love and blessings to you and talk to you soon bye